Bereshit, Genesis 22. And it came to pass after these things that Elohim did try at Avraham and said unto him, Avraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now at your son, your at Yaqid, at Yishak, whom you love and get you into the land of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell you of. And Avraham rose up early in the morning and saddled at his ass and took at two of his young men with him and at Yishak, Yishak his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which Elohim had told him. Then on the third day, Avraham lifted up at his eyes and saw at the place afar off. And Avraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Avraham took at the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Yitshak his son. And he took at the fire in his hand and at a knife. And they went both of them together. And Yitshak spoke unto El Avraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Avraham said, My son, Elohim will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which Elohim had told him of, and Avraham built at an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound at Yitshak his son, and laid him at on the altar upon the wood. And Avraham stretched forth at his hand, and took at the knife to slay at his son. And the angel of Yahuwah called unto him out of the heavens, and said, Avraham, Avraham, and he said, here am I. And he said, Lay not your hand upon the lad, neither do you anything unto him. For now I know that you fear Elohim, seeing you have not withheld at your son, your at Yaqid, from me. And Avraham lifted up at his eyes and looked. Behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket, by his thorns. And Avraham went and took at the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Avraham called the name of that place Yahuwah Yaira, as it is said to this day, in the mount of Yahuwah it shall be seen. And the angel of Yahuwah called unto El Avraham out of the heavens the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, says Yahuwah, for because you have done at this thing and have not withheld at your son, your at Yaqid, that in blessing I will bless you, and in multiplying I will multiply at your seed, as the stars of the heavens, and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And your seed at shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So Avraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Be'er Shiva, and Avraham dwelt at Be'er Shiva. 
And it came to pass after these things that it was told Avraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she has also borne children unto your brother Nacor, Et Huz his firstborn, and Et Buzz his brother, and Et Kamuel, the father of Aram, and Et Kesed, and Et Chazo, and Et Pildash, and Et Yidlaf, and Et Bethuel. Bethuel begat Et Rivka. These eight Milka did bear to Nacor, Avraham's brother. And his concubine, whose name was Reuma, she bore also Et Tiva, and Et Gaham, and Et Thehash, and Et Ma'akah.